Bio 42 students. Today we will be discussing the phospholipid bilayer within the cell membrane as well as its unsaturated and saturated fatty acid tail components. All cells have a cell membrane and here in this diagram of a cell, this distinct outer layer is the cell membrane. And the cell membrane is composed of amphipathic phospholipids, glycolipids, and sterile. The cell membrane is very selective for what is allowed to enter and exit the cell, and the fluidity of the cell membrane must be kept in check in order for the cell to function properly. And today we will be discussing the phospholipid bilayer. So here is a diagram of the phospholipid bilayer. It is composed of two layers of lipids. Uh, the first layer being the hydrophilic heads, which are water attracting, and the hydrophobic tails, which are water repelling. The hydro hydrophobic tails come together to form the phospholipid bilayer by way of intermolecular forces. Um, the tails within the cell membrane uh, create an entire hydrophobic region throughout and the hydrophilic heads of the cell membrane uh, create a water enriching environment within the cell and outside of the cell. Uh, now my partner Alejandro will discuss what affects the fluidity of the cell membrane. So when we talk about factors that affect the cell membrane fluidity, uh, there are a couple that we need to keep in mind. One of these is the length of the tails. So the longer the tail is, the more interactions it will have. And so the fluidity will naturally decrease. Another one is temperature. Um, as the temperature increases, so does the fluidity. One other thing is the cholesterol content. Cholesterol acts as a buffer, uh, keeping it in check in a range if the temperature gets uh, really high or really low. Another thing is whether it's saturated or unsaturated. Um, so we can see here that the saturated, uh, t they have single bonds, so the tails are straight, and in the unsaturated version, they have double bonds, point out here, with uh, carbon, and so uh, they're more crooked and kinked. And so here you can see the molecular or chemical um, version of the saturated and unsaturated tails. So the saturated active tails are arranged in a way that maximizes interactions between tails. These interactions decrease uh, fluidity. The unsaturated fatty acids, on the other hand, have more distance between the tails. And so um, they have fewer intermolecular interactions and more fluidity overall.